Hey everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Speak ChatGPT plugin to say anything in another language, your AI powered language tutor. All right, so before I would show you an actual example on how to use the Speak ChatGPT plugin, let's see some use cases first. So I have a full complete tutorial on my website on the Speak ChatGPT plugin use cases, and I also share some of the best ChatGPT prompts you can use this plugin with. But first, let's see some use cases. So as you can see here and read here, you can use the Speak ChatGPT plugin for translating any kind of word, phrase, or complete text to any language. You can also use it to understand culture and nuance. You can also use it for language learning, phrase explanation, task explanation. You can also use it for language tutoring, travel preparation, and for instance, language comparisons. So if you want to get the best prompts for this ChatGPT plugin, then make sure to check out the link to this article in the description below. And I also have a full database of all ChatGPT plugins that are currently available in the ChatGPT plugin store with the use cases and some of the best prompts you can use those plugins with. And the database not only includes translation ChatGPT plugins, but finance plugins, crypto plugins, productivity plugins, business plugins, marketing plugins, and so on and so forth. So all plugins that are currently available in ChatGPT GPT can be found there with use cases and example prompts. All right, but now let's see how to use the Speak ChatGPT plugin. So before you would be able to use the plugin, there are some things you have to make sure that you have done. I'm not going to go over the complete process because this is a little bit long, but if you don't know how to do one of these steps, I'm going to talk about it right now. There are tutorials on all of these steps on my YouTube channel, so make sure to check those out if you need to. Right, so first, if you want to use the Speak ChatGPT plugin, you have to be a ChatGPT Plus subscriber. Next, you also have to make sure that plugins are enabled in your ChatGPT account. Then you also have to make sure to select GPT-4 model from the model selector. Then you also have to make sure that plugins are selected in GPT-4. Then you have to click on this down arrow and make sure that the plugin Speak is installed in your ChatGPT account. If it is not, you have to click on plugin store and install the plugin. And once the plugin is installed, you also have to make sure that the plugin is enabled. And you can check that by clicking on the checkbox here next to the speak ChatGPT plugin name. All right, so once the plugin is enabled, here's how to use it. Let's see an example. So the prompt I'm using demonstrates why this speak ChatGPT plugin is better than a Google Translate or any kind of other translation software. So you can not only use this for translating words or text or anything like that, but you can use this as a language assistant, basically. So in this example, let's say we are traveling to Germany and we want to know some common phrases I should know. And then all you have to do is click on execute and ChatGPT is clever enough to know that it has to use the speak ChatGPT plugin to be able to answer this uh, ChatGPT prompt. And it is doing exactly that. And as you can see, we don't have to use any kind of function or fancy prompts. Simple natural language is enough to be able to use the plugin. And now as you can see, this is the response that the speak plugin has fed to ChatGPT. And based on that, ChatGPT is giving us some phrases we can use in Germany. Ich suche das Hotel. This means I'm looking for the hotel. It's a form of phrase you can use when speaking to hotel staff or stranger. Kannst du mir bitte helfen? This translates to can you please help me. Ich hatte gerne ein Bier. This means I would like to beer, please. So as you can see, the more example here, so it also gives you a full conversation. And if you want to learn more about other phrases about, I don't know, using in the hotel, you can of course ask the plugin to give you more example phrases in German. So this is how we can use the Speak ChatGPT plugin. If you want to learn more about other use cases and prompts you can use this plugin with, check out the article below in the description. And if you want to get access to the full free database of all available ChatGPT plugins, you can also get access to that in the description below. And if you want to learn how to use other ChatGPT plugins to increase your productivity, get investment advice, use ChatGPT plugins for SEO, marketing, learning about the news and all that good stuff, you can also check out a ton of tutorial on my YouTube channel on how to use these ChatGPT plugins.